Hello, rebound here. I found a little tent site that was just beyond the shelter. And it was a nice little private place. And I slept fairly well. Believe it or not, it rained two little passing rain showers this morning before dawn. Just enough to wet my tent to make it heavy to pack up. And now we got a mixture of clouds and blue sky. I do remember seeing that around this time it was supposed to start raining and I have not kept up with the weather. So we may very well have rain today. I have on my shorts underneath my other hiking clothes because my watch, which I don't know if it's completely accurate or where it gets its weather, says that it's supposed to be 75 for the high today. So we'll see what happens. My plan is to either do 18 point something to the shelter or to stealth camp at 15, around 15. And this stealth camp should have water at it. I did want to say that I appreciated the comments. There were quite a few people who suggested compression sleeves for my legs. And I have ordered some of those when they come in, but we'll put them in my next box and I'm eager to try those. In my gut, I am feeling that it is probably my pack weight. Um, this pack is beautiful when it's at exactly the right weight and it is packed just the right way. Lately, I feel it really hanging on my lower back and on my shoulders. You really, according to what I understand, are not supposed to be able to feel the pack on your shoulders. It's not your shoulders that are carrying the pack. It's your, your hip and the stiffness of the backpack. So I'm eager to switch out this zero degree bag, which I have been very grateful to have for my 20 degree bag. When I get to Damascus, and uh, I'll also be sending home my, my puffy and my fleece hoodie. And those add up to some significant weight. So we'll see what happens then. I don't want to give up my thermos because it makes the food so much more enjoyable. I mentioned that my plans are a little up in the air. It depends on whether I do 18 today or 15. If I do 15 today, I'll do 15 tomorrow and then 6 into Irwin, Tennessee. And if I do 18 today, then that means I think 16 into Irwin the next day. And I am not planning on staying at Uncle Johnny's. I've done two tours of duty at Uncle Johnny's also. If it's raining, I definitely will not stay at Uncle Johnny's. If it doesn't rain, I can always tent and get away from the place, but use their facilities and do my laundry. However, this time, because I wanted to avoid Uncle Johnny's, I have sent my box to a hotel that is 1.3 miles away and that will mean 1.3 miles back so I could walk from Uncle Johnny's pick up my box and walk back for 2.6 or I could just walk the 1.3 and stay in the hotel and leave the next day I'm not planning on taking a zero there just an overnight if the weather's bad, we'll see. That day that I stayed in the lodge, before I went into the Smokies, I heard some really scary tales about people who left on that day. So I do think 
God is guiding my decisions out here. I got to try not to let my own fears and worries mix in with that. And I'm just playing it by ear right now. So I guess that's it for today. And this is the morning report for today. Talk to you later. I'm such a hot sauce. kind of ominous over here. I don't know if this is coming this way or not. Well, I just came upon some most awesome trail magic at that gap. It was put on by Camo, who was a former through hiker, and his wife Coins, who supported him. She followed him in a car and when he came to his stopping point, wherever that was, she would take him into town or get him whatever he needed. And it was delicious. Absolutely delicious. He had um, a tortilla with scrambled eggs and cheese. They had guacamole if you wanted that. And I opted to put salsa on mine. So it was like a little breakfast taco. They had baggies of fresh fruit that had blueberries and strawberries and cantaloupe and watermelon and I don't know what else, but those are the kind of things that we through hikers don't get and tend to crave out here. And there was also coffee, coffee. And it was so enjoyable, such a boost. Trail magic is such a boost for us. It's not expected, but when it just happens, that's why they call it trail magic. And it just can totally turn around a whole day. So that was nice. The weather is looking a little ominous in the background. And I don't know what's going to happen today, how far I'll go, where I'll stop. Uh... You see so many blowdowns of trees from the roots where the whole root ball has come up and the whole tree has toppled that it's very scary to be out here when there is a thunderstorm. A little bit of sprinkles or rain, that's not scary. It's annoying, but you know, it's not dangerous, but you never know what you're going to get out here. So we shall see how everything pans out today. Stay tuned, and I'll let you know. It's my understanding that this is caused by wild pigs. All of this rooting here, rooting up of the dirt. Today was an unexpectedly tough day with lots of long, 
sharply graded inclines and I think I'm still reeling from that 18.5 day I did. Was that yesterday? We had a really a strange mix of weather today. We had uh, cold this morning. Eventually I shed my layer. It rained for about an hour. Then the sun came out and it shined for quite a while. Then it started clouding up again. We had sprinkles off and on. And I came to a meadow with a beautiful view. There were people there waiting for the eclipse even though it was completely overcast and sprinkling. So I had my early dinner sitting with them and I set up my tent. I wanted to get it set up before it started raining and it's raining now. My tent was not too bad in spite of uh, packing it up wet. Usually it's a big mess when I take it out but the inside of my tent was fairly dry so it's not too bad. My plan is to do about 16 tomorrow to No Business Knob Shelter and then 6 into Irwin where I will stay overnight. So, I think that's about all of the news that I can think of right now. This is Rebound, signing out.